Point is dogs here playing Defender's Quest. We're moving on to the Monastery Gates. And we've leveled up our guys uh, quite a bit. We have some good equipment, so we're going to go ahead and just start this level on Extreme. See how well we do. <clears throat> here we are, the Chapter House of the Seventh Branch of Selene. That's the Monastery? What? You were expecting something else? I just thought it looked more like the Royal Temple's back in Ash. Well, I can't chant if that would... <clears throat> excuse me. Well, I can chant if that would make it feel more temple-y. It just looks more like a fortress than a temple. Indeed, for there are many dangers in the pit. You. You think that old fool sitting behind his walls can save you? You are cut off. The, that monastery might as well be in the furthest reaches of the Quaid Empire for all good it will do you. Revenant, cut them down. Alright, so... Bobo is currently our best archer, our, and our best unit all around. She has a really nice bow and also just got some new armor. So we're gonna get her out. Get her kind of in the center of things. And then we're just gonna spend a lot and just upgrade her quite a bit. Next, we're going to get our other archers out. We'll try these little uh, nooks here. And we're going to upgrade them as well. And we got enough to get one of our berserkers out. We'll get berserker out kind of close. And I guess we can get another one out. Yeah, let's get them all out. Alright, let's see how these guys hold up in the first wave. Looks like we have 11 waves. Alright, so far these guys are doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and upgrade one of our archers. Spitting guys kind of breaking through. They're dead now. And one spell that Belmont learned was the healing spell. So we have that at our disposal now. Alright. Let's go ahead and upgrade her. And let's go ahead and use healing. A lot of red skeletons. Let's go ahead and use healing again. Oh man. Hey, we're losing people over here. Get them back. Alright. So, I think maybe a better position for the archers would be kind of in a little bit. That way these skeletons can't directly hit them that point. Sucks, it's kind of wasted points there. Alright, let's get this started again. I need to watch out for this grill up here. Let's go ahead and We'll boost this archer, and let's go ahead and heal. Ah, can't. Oh, she's about to die. There we go. And she's about to die again. Oh man, our thing didn't charge fast enough. Alright, let's get another archer out. Put her in a little bit. And let's see if we can't upgrade some of these berserkers. Not quite. Yo, Belmont, one of my buddies is down. Pull him back in. We got murdering to do. Alright, so apparently we cannot handle the extreme level quite yet.
All right. So we are going to try this on advanced. All right. So we're going to get our archers kind of in a little bit. I'm going to upgrade Bobo. And it's going to upgrade these archers a little bit. And get some berserkers out. All right, let's speed this up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and boost our berserkers here. So some of our troops are now level 10, which unlocked a second, an additional tier of abilities they can put points to now. So one of them for the archers is pretty cool, is you can increase the range. Just the default range of the archers. All right, so the advance actually wasn't too hard. So there was a bit of a uh, jump there between from advance to expert. Let's go ahead and level up our guy. So now that he's level 10, he can get madness, which adds 10% chance of critical to flurry. And we can do a rage, adds 2% chance of bleed to all attacks. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock madness for this guy. And he's still level nine, so he hasn't unlocked these two yet. Just gonna boost his base attack. You got Blood Feud Copal. This nomad fighting knife is engraved with the symbols of the Gasa tribe above the symbol of an unknown rival group, indicating a blood feud between the two. Its bone handle is grooved with 17 death notches. All right, let's go ahead and equip that. That'll be a nice boost to get a shirt. All right. The gate is open, quick, before they can regroup. Everyone into the monastery. Once again, we owe you our lives, honorable elder. I act for myself as much as for others. You do not know your own importance. One who can travel into their world. Please, if you can explain any of the events of the last week to me. There is much to say and little time to say it. The enemy army still sits at our gates. At least tell me this, to whom do I owe my life? A playable character. Um, what do we want to name this guy? We will name him Wicket after an Ewok and one of my dogs. All right, thank y'all for watching that playthrough of Defender's Quest. And join us next time for the Monastery Ascension.